I don't know whether I can speak for you, but truly, I've been kind of amazed. It's in the middle of the program and uh, uh, by the experience. I mean, the whole attention to detail, the sheer planning that seems to have gone in, it's truly extraordinary. And I was hoping, Sadhguru, to explore the fact that this program is being run and managed by a team of volunteers, young volunteers who seem to have done an extraordinary job of creating a very, very unique experience. And Sadhguru, I was hoping if you could kind of help us understand what it takes to run a volunteer program of this kind. You're traveling around the world, right? And this program has been in works for, the, for a few months now. What does it take to infuse passion and purpose in these young volunteers? Essentially, uh, volunteering means to become willing or in other words, uh, to become an absolute yes to life. Most human beings are yes if it's convenient, no when it's not convenient. <laughs> yes if it's yielding something, no if it's not yielding something for them. A volunteer means there's only one thing that he's dropped, which is a very significant thing. He's just dropped this one calculation, what can I get? If a human being drops this one ca calculation, what can I get out of this? If he drops that, suddenly he becomes a phenomenon. This is something that I'm constantly demonstrating to people, what our volunteers can do. This is a small program for us. If you see our major events, like for example, Mahashivratri is coming, over one million people will be there through the night from evening six to morning six. Or if you look at the Project Green Hands or the rural rejuvenation programs, and just about anything that's been done here, for example, the Dhyanalinga Dome, to just to tell you what it goes into, what goes into it, the dome is made in such a way, there is no cement, there is no steel, there is no concrete. The simple technology is all the bricks are trying to fall down at the same time, so they cannot. It's like everybody is trying to get out of the door and they cannot. Unless somebody, one person has the courtesy to move back, then they will go. But the bricks don't have courtesy. So they are co keep on trying to come down and they cannot come down. So for this to happen, it took 1.8 lakh bricks to build that. This 180,000 bricks, every one of them was measured to the millimeter by the volunteers. If somebody is little lakhs, somebody puts a brick which is two millimeters less than what it should be, the whole thing may collapse. So I sat down and I spoke to them, see this is what it means, this is what I'm placing in your hands. You never handled a brick in your life, but you got to measure like this. And men, women, children sat down day and night and they measured and they measured and they measured <laughs> and they kept these bricks. And now when they keep… it has to be just kept quickly so that it doesn't come down. One circle you have to complete at a time. And today you see that. I'm just saying just one example. Any number of things like this have been done. What is it that fires them? See, there is something beyond passion. There is something beyond motivation, there is something beyond profit which is very significant for a human being, which generally most human beings never explore. Their whole life remains within certain expectations of profit, some passion towards it, some intensity. But volunteers live an intense life. So through the night people are working, but in the day they are working. When do they sleep? They don't. This is my experience. I am like this, I am on at least twenty, twenty, twenty-two hours a day, seven days of the week. Because uh, there are work, there's work going on in United States, in every part of the world, which are in different time zones. At two o'clock in the morning, if I just pick up my phone, somebody, one of the swamis or somebody picks up the phone, never once will I hear a goggy voice, what Sadhguru? No. Sadhguru, it doesn't matter any time of the day or night. This is… this is the greatest blessing, that you constantly live among people 
who are intense, focused and willing to give themselves to what needs to happen. This is the greatest pleasure a man can have, this is the greatest fortune a man can have and fortunately we have it <laughs>